welcome back people we've got some more fishing planet for you guys here again today we are doing missions we've done all the new missions in all the new lakes but this is a mission that i do not i've noticed i looked across my channel we've got loads and loads of missions all across different lakes on fishing planet but for some reason i don't have this one on there so i'm doing this mission here to show you guys today <clears throat> so nihun exploration one i think i'm saying that right but north carolina that's where we are that's where we're fishing right over there on the far right as you can see where my guy is just there that's where we're going to be fishing sometimes when we're doing these missions you do have to move around and find the fish so do yeah <laughs> oh gosh i lost my train of thought hold on give me a second all right there we go so you don't need extremely good rods for this i'm just using the heavy chaser just because it's what i have to hand <clears throat> you could do this with a much lighter rod you, you definitely don't need a rod as strong as what i've got always keep an eye on different um, baits and hook sizes that i'm using because every now and again i do try and stick to the same but every now and again i do have to mess around and change baits and change different hooks and stuff like that to try and find the right fish so i'm fishing here to start off with near these two logs here and we're going to see what happens see how well it works we do live stream with face cam and mic anytime i make videos like this i only use the mic i don't bother setting up the face cam just because it's quite time consuming i can't even talk right now it's too early in the morning <clears throat> there's the first one that we needed a pumpkin seed it's like 5 a.m in the morning and i'm up editing videos making videos <laughs> the grind never stops now oh, there we go let's get it set back out there again so i'm going to be using four bottom rods and i have one float rod on me so i'm going to use one float rod as well but i feel like the bottom rods are going to be the better thing just because that's what i'm going to be mainly using and we're going to be catching and getting this mission done by using bottom rods more than anything else but i'm going to give the float a go as well <clears throat> just because i have it to hand all the rods are going now that's awesome I don't know, normally I do put some cuts and edits into videos, sometimes I do try and get it all done in the one video rather than making edits, just so that way you can see in real time, but sometimes it can be a little bit time consuming, so black crappy, that's what we needed as well. It's red worms, another black crappy I think, yep. So, so, yeah, for some of these fish, we might have to uh, we have to move around a little bit to try and find some other fish. Some more black crappy there. If I do move location at any time, obviously I uh, I will show that and I will tell you guys exactly whereabouts I moved to and show you the spot, tell you how far I'm casting, all that good stuff. Not too much in a rush to pick the rods up, just because. They're going off so constant that I'm not even getting a chance to put out the other rod. Okay, this is using Doble's hash six. There you go, white crappy. We needed that. Perfect. So we now need free fish. I might be able to do this without actually making an edit. That'd be awesome. <clears throat> that saved me a lot of time. Okay, that's not one that we need. We've already got that white crappy. So if you are interested in Fishing Planet, it's definitely a good reason to subscribe. Make sure when you click subscribe, the notification bell says all. As soon as them updates come out for Fishing Planet, I am live streaming it. Well, I download and just as it's about to install, finish installing, I start up a live stream straight away and we show new lakes, new rods, new reels, new boats, new tackle. And um, In the new lakes, we also show how to catch those certain fish. Um, how to catch unique fish and how and where and what to use all that good stuff so if you're interested in fishing planet it's a good reason to subscribe and turn notifications on don't forget to drop a like on the video as well if this did help you out in any sort of way any comments you can always leave below and i'll try and get back to you guys as quick as i can i do try and respond to every single person who sends messages but obviously i've got lots and lots of videos <coughs> that's on the float rod 
I completely lost my voice right now. Okay, it's not one that we're after. Pumpkin seed. Well, we're catching a lot at a fast pace, but just not them last three, so we might have to we might have to move to a different spot, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to. Okay, let's get the other one out as well. So you could get away with doing this mission with a very light rod. I think you've got to be level like 10 or 11 to get into this place. So you haven't got to be that high of a level to be honest. And that one got snagged. Let me just quickly unsnag that. There we go. Then we got another fish on there. <clears throat> it's been a long time since I fished in this place. I'm going to be honest. It has definitely been a very long time. It's handy because I play on PC and I play on PS4. So some of the missions that I've already done on PC, I then do them on PS4 and then upload those as videos. And then sometimes the other way around, I've already done the mission <clears throat> on PS4 and haven't done it on PC. So I then do that mission on PC. But I was looking across the channel and I noticed that I didn't have this mission on the channel. So that's why I wanted to get this one done. But we've already done all the new lakes. All the newest lakes that are already out, we've already done all the missions in those. Shown hot spots and how and where to catch certain unique fish. So you can always check some of that out if anyone's interested. We also do other games as well. We play other fishing games and we play all different types of new games that come out. Random videos, all that good stuff. You can always check it out if anyone is interested. But Fish and Planet is the main game that we play on the channel more than anything else. Just because I really like the game mechanics of it. Okay, that's on the float one again. So you probably could do this on a float rod. Just on a float rod and no bottom rods. You probably could. Another black crappy. I think we are going to have to move to another spot, honestly. <clears throat> We're catching a lot of fish, but the same fish, not the different ones. So we're probably going to have to move spot. I reel this one and reel the next one, and if we don't get anything that we need, oh, okay, there we go. We need that one, red deer, sunfish. So now we need the bluegill and the golden shiner. That's the last two. Sometimes I do try and get it all at the same spot. There we go, perfect. Golden shiner. So is all we need now is the bluegill. And this, I think I picked that up too early. I should have waited a few more seconds. Oh, it's still there, though. This could be it. No, it's not. <clears throat> Black crappy. Okay, so let me have a quick look. This is a good little tip for some people who don't know. So if you go to fish species, and you can scroll through here, and it will tell you what the fish prefers. That's a good way to do it. That's how I do it sometimes. Sometimes that way it does actually speed up the process of you trying to catch fish. That's a good little tip for anybody. Sometimes even though you know what bait to use, sometimes you still might not catch fish. And that could be because you're not using the right hook or you're not fishing in the right spot. That's always That can always be the case as well. So just because I'm after the bluegill, I know that it likes the dough balls better than anything else. So I changed a few more. Put some more dough balls on there. Alright, let's have a look, see if this is the one that we're looking for. This is on the blood worms. It still could be it, though. It's still possible. It's not in this case. Alright, I'll bring you guys back when we get that last one on. So, change location. Got a fish on the float rod. Don't worry, I will show you whereabouts we are. There's the bluegill that we needed. I tried to get it at the other spot and it just weren't possible. So I'll bring you guys back in one second. Mission complete. There we go. Exploration one. So we got 1,300 cash, one bait coin, and we got some shrimps as well. So I got a fish on here. So I, yeah, I just couldn't get it at the other location. I really, really did try, but just no luck. So I'll show you whereabouts we moved to. The shrimp reward, okay. So we moved to this location here. Great parking job. That's where we moved to, we, as you can see, my guy there. So click go fishing and you're spawning like here. You'll see that truck. 
in the water there. I was casting around here. I had a few fish, but that pumpkin seed, I actually caught it there on the float rod. You can catch it there on the bottom rod as well. But I'm just going to cast, show you exactly how far it is. So that was 65 feet. I think I actually cast it. It was like 60 foot. So, but yeah, just there where the tip of the rod is. There seems to be a really good spot. Also got another fish on there at them weeds just in front of me there. I fought either there or over there. But we had it there. I'm pretty sure I could get, get it there as well. But anyway, that's exploration one complete. Now we're going to do exploration two. So keep an eye out for that. That will be coming very, very soon straight after this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Subscribe for new updates on Fish and Planet. Make sure you drop a like on the video if it helped you out in any sort of way. Any comments leave below. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.